Hello, and welcome back to Monster Hunter Freedom Unite for iOS, where today... We, you see we're wearing the same armor as always, but it's got more defense. I've now upgraded everything as high as I can, so they're all at 60 defense. And I think we'll actually be fine with this until we actually make some high rank gear. And we are getting back to doing our high rank key quests. Because, dang it, I want to just... I want to get to the next level of quests so that I can actually start really upgrading things. So we're not going for the uh, revenge against the Kezu just yet. Instead, we're going for some Kongalalas. And as you can see, I have got Auto Tracker now. So never again will I have to... Well, not necessarily never again, but never while I have Auto Tracker will I... It takes a while to dodge away from that hammer swing. Yep. While I have Auto Tracker, I will never again have to worry about uh, where to find monsters. Yeah, for this quest, we gotta kill at least two Kongalalas. Shouldn't be too hard. Plus, we get this delightful music to fight them in. In. Two. Get your prepositions straight, folks. It's important. Let's not be right in the line of fire there. Ow. Surprising amount of damage from just Kongalala's forward charge. Especially considering it's not raging. But I suppose that's going to be the case with basically all monsters. Like, that's kind of how high rank goes in this game. We may have improved our defense some, but it's still a stopgap measure. Actually getting and upgrading some high rank armor is going to be what makes the real difference. Got apes flying everywhere. The difference is, to my knowledge, no one has ever called Kongas their pretties. Ow. Getting rid of... What? Well, that was a terrible hitbox. Hmm. I haven't got anything to boost my maximum health. And I don't believe the Veggie Elder can give us max potions. Mega Potion, on the other hand, isn't bad. Okay. I really should invest into making some max potions and ancient potions. Because we're definitely getting to the point where they are going to be useful for me. And before we focus on him, let's get rid of the small ones. So that we can focus our attention more easily. Uh, 
There we go. And now he gets our undivided attention. Why are you holding a rock in your tail anyway, huh? It'd be super cool if I could get some uh, Union Ore from breaking the tail, but I don't think I can. Simple charge takes a little bit more than half my health when he's raging. That's not great. Ow. Yeah, that's super not great. I'm going to need to play very, very carefully. I'm also going to need this little guy to not be such a jerk. Ow. Seriously? You just got here, guy. Oh, and now you're limping. And now you're dead? Okay. Ow! I mean, I knew it was coming, but I was trying to get out of it. But, nope. Great. You deserve so much worse. I was about to look for what the subquest was, but then I remembered there aren't subquests in this game. I was thinking, hey, maybe a bunch of little congos will be the subquest and I can get free parts, but. Nope. So we should go kill that other little congo before the next big one shows. A little unfortunate I didn't break anything on the big one, but I don't expect I'll be that interested in making the Kongalala armor. I could be wrong, but I don't expect to be. So this one's also got a rock. You and your fart roar. Yeah, go ahead and do that as much as you want, buddy. Seriously? Why do these Kongalalas hate me so much? Like, I... Did he seriously jump into the cave? And why did he go blue? What's the deal here? I don't understand. Because in the other games, them going blue means that they've completely dropped combat. But in this game, I think it might just mean that... Oh, seriously, he moved again. It might just mean that they've no longer got anyone under their eye debuff. Because there was no yellow in between. It's been a while since I've had Auto Tracker in this game. So. Yep, there he is, and immediately from blue to red. I think we have discovered it. Don't know who you were jumping on, but 
Oh, my cat's over there. It's a little tougher to tell where the cat is, considering this game doesn't show name tags for the cat. You just killed your little buddy. I hope you're proud of yourself. Way to jump on a cat that's not there anymore, stupid. I want to break the tail or the face, or both. We gotta not hang out in front of the face, though, because if we take too many of those charges, then we're gonna have a really bad time. So I guess trying to break the tail, despite the fact that it moves around a lot, is gonna be better for us in the long run. They're so going for the face when he has just finished doing his little claw swipes. That's totally acceptable. Ow. Of course, we gotta use this one as an opportunity to heal. Yeah, it's a shame the tail has to wave around so much. I mean, you just put your face in that one. I don't think you have the right to be angry about it. Where are you going? Okay, no breaks, but quest effectively clear. This will leave us only one key quest to do, and it'll be revenge against Kezu. A long time coming. After that key quest, it's the uh, urgent quest that I never got past in the PSP version. So that'll be interesting. Looks like we got all the supplies, so let's also raid these paintballs. Not that we need them at the moment. And deodorants. Quest clear. And the Veggie Elder's gone. No, he's just moved. Hey, uh, why are you over here now? Oh, thanks. That's just some free zenny. in the way of rewards, but at least it's Kongalala stuff.
Okay. Well, that is going to do it for this episode. Join us next time when we take our revenge. See you then, friends.